Last month, Gina Carano was getting hit piece after hit piece put out on her. She had a legion of people on social media coming after her. And you want to know how that story ended up? She became one of the most popular stars in the world. But before we talk about this, I want to talk to you about Ridgewalt, the sponsor of this video. Christmas is coming, and I know there's some of you out there that are still looking for a gift to give to a loved one. I'm going to help you out. See this link on the screen? You're going to find it in the description. There, you're going to go there. You're going to see Ridgewalt. These are some of their products. This is my personal wallet that I've been using for over a year now. I love it. I don't miss having a big bulky wallet in my back pocket. This is so much better. And they're really sleek and cool and interesting. And they're kind of a conversation starter too. A lot of people ask me about these wallets whenever I go somewhere. So listen, go check out their website. You're going to see over 40,000 positive reviews. They don't delete reviews either. Go check out their reviews. Also, listen, they offer you a lifetime warranty. This will be the last wallet you ever need to buy. And they stand with content creators. They've stood with me. They've stood with other people that I'm sure you watch. They don't listen to the mob. And I think that that's something worth supporting. I'm going to save you some money too. You see this code right here? Use code FLASH for 10% off. It's going to save you a few dollars. Go check out their products. So many cool things. Cell phone cases, battery chargers, USB cables. But the main thing on their site is their wallets. And that's for a reason. Because they're built with quality in mind. Check them out. Give them some support. Thanks for watching. So I saw this yesterday and it really, really brought a smile to my face. Because there were so many people coming after Gina Carano for a month straight. They were coming at her really hard. It was... It was really, really disgusting to see so many people trying to cancel her for having some opinions and daring to like some tweets. It was, it was ridiculous. And the hate machine went after her real hard. Well, guess what? She's now the number two star on Star Meter IMDB. I guess this is users go and vote for whoever... And this boosts them up. So as you can see right here, like Pedro Pascal's number six, Elliot Page number four, Alexandria, Alexandria Breckenridge. I don't even know who that is or this person or the number one. But I know who Gina Carano is. She's number two. In fact, there's another one right here. This is another version of Star Meter. So I'm guessing this one is based on user votes. This one is based on maybe some kind of searches on the internet or something. I'm not sure. But even over here, she's number 32, uh, which is nothing to scuff at because look who's number 33, Henry Cavill. Look who's number 31, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Adam Sandler, Carl Urban. I mean, she's in the top 30 and it goes for a long time. So her popularity is through the loop, through the roof right now. And it's probably one of the reasons why Disney is giving her her own show. Rangers of the New Republic is for sure going to be her show. Be for be her show. Uh, I don't know for sure. Like this is speculation, but the the writing is on the wall. They've been setting it up all season, and then you take into the fact that it was rumored she was going to get her own show along for a while. And then there's been the reports that they've been looking to kind of milk the Mandalorian and get a bunch of shows out of it. It makes sense. She's popular. Fans like her. And it prints money. <laughs> it prints money. So they're going to give her her own show. Uh, I want to debunk this too. This is ridiculous. People have been covering this and I'm not going to, I'm not going to say any names or anything, but come on. If you ever see this right here, we got this covered. It's bonk, okay? This is a rumor mill website. 90% of the stuff that comes from We Got This Covered is pure garbage. Uh, and listen to how ridiculous this, this sounds. Disney reportedly asking Gina Carano to apologize if she still wants a Mandalorian spinoff. So she needs to apologize to get a show. So that would be Disney basically saying apologize to weirdos on Twitter to get a show. Now, I know they've in the past and still in some ways try to appease these people, but it's pretty obvious that they've just been ignoring losers on Twitter when it comes to Star Wars lately. 
the show is already announced. Rangers of the New Republic. That's her show. They're not going to take her off the show because of a bunch of weirdos on Twitter. This rumor itself is ridiculous. She needs to make a social media statement to get a show. <laughs> Come on. And the only reason I'm doing this is because anytime I cover this now, a bunch of people, well, they want her to apologize. Like in my comments have been filled with it. This is fake news. Anything from We Got This Covered, 90% of the time, pure trash. It's a shit website. Don't listen to anything that comes from We Got This Covered. But anyway, Gina Carano, she put this up yesterday, kind of uh, l- laughing at the trolls, which I respect. My friend G, you're number two on IMDb Star Meter, even though the Hollywood Press ran a whole smear campaign on you and didn't do one, and you didn't do one interview. Congrats, you're kicking ass. I guess it's all about perspective. And it's, of course, got the haters all riled up again, trying to cancel her with no avail. They will not win. Uh, she's going to have her own show. And imagine the butt hurt then. Maybe they'll try to do a pathetic get Gina Carano fired hashtag like they did with Rosario Dawson that failed spectacularly. Man, I just I've really been enjoying this because it's so ha- I, I'm so happy when these people, these weirdos lose, you know, when they lose and someone like Gina gets to stay on and, and is successful despite their cancel culture mentality, their kangaroo courts on social media. It's always great when they lose. And this is a big lose. And this is a big middle finger by her to them and to the shill media, the NBC SJW media media, because she didn't do one interview. And I guarantee you, uh, they were calling her up, trying to get her to come in and bend the knee and, and do interviews with them when they would just smear her. Of course they wouldn't, they would never. So this is how that usually works. They'll bring them in and, take things out of context and try to make them look terrible. The best thing to do is to do no interviews. And that's what she did. And I commend her for that. So, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to make a quick video on this because I thought this was pretty cool. Two different scales on IMDb. She's number two out of, you know, hundreds on most popular celebs as determined by users. And then even over here on their regular chart, She's number 32, which is pretty damn impressive. Uh, so she's she's blowing up. She's becoming a big actress in Hollywood, and I think that that's pretty awesome. Let the tears flow, uh, and congratulations to uh, Miss Carano. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Check out Ridge Wallet. Link in the description. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about all this. Also, if you would, please throw a like up. Share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.